Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. It is now the afternoon and I'm getting ready so that is why it's this awkward angle. But I am getting ready for our camping weekend and I am bringing you guys along. I'm just doing my hair. This is my go-to hairstyle. The crimps last for a long time. I barely have to touch it up in the morning so I'll just run it through really fast. And um... I figured this would be the easiest hairstyle since we're going camping. But yeah, I'm bringing you guys along, so I'm going to, this will be our packing vlog. Depending how much I film today, this may be a two-part vlog. If not, it will be a weekend vlog, but we have a Walmart pickup when David gets off. We went and got new bed sheets for our camper. This is our first time staying in. I am getting hair all over me. I already went ahead and got ready. That way, the rest of the afternoon, I can spend packing everyone's bags so I need to get that done. As soon as day gets off, we're going to pick out our generator, and then we have a Walmart pickup, and then we're heading out to our camper. I will show you guys most likely what I got on the Walmart pickup, hopefully. I went ahead and got ready. I know I'm talking really fast. I'm trying to get this all in before she starts getting fussy. But this is one of my new outfits. I showed a clothing haul. This tank top was under $3 and it's so cute. Normally, I don't like wearing tank tops because I do have a bit of a mom pouch. I'm a mom of four. I am working on it though. But these tank tops are the comfiest things ever. If you guys need new tank tops, definitely go warm and get them. TikTok blew them up. So... Sometimes they're out of different size. They might be out of your sizes. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I am finally done getting ready. I've been done for like the last hour almost. This is what I did in my hair. I would love to wear it down without these pigtails, but it just looks horrible. It's either when it's straightened, little baby hair stick out from where it's broke off and it's so dead, or when it's crimped, it's just really big. So I usually, I usually just go for my pigtails. I mentioned in my last vlog I'm missing a chunk here. David did help me trim it. I cut it up to my shorts to match this side because this side does match. It's just right here is missing some. I don't want to chop it all the way up to here. Shelby's really fussy, so you're going to bear with me. David did help me get the stragglers. I put Ellie to bed. She has been a very big pain today. First, she went in and got the chips out of the trash can, dumped it in Shelby's bathtub. And then she went and got a water bottle and decided to take the lid off and just just start going like that everywhere. So I put her to bed. She is watching Cocomelon laying down, having a drink of her milk. Shelby's been fussy. I have got no packing done. The cleaning is pretty much done. I just need to make sure the living room's tidy, but Molly is helping me with Shelby because she's being really fussy. She's naked. She needs to take a bath, and then Molly took a shower yesterday. Ellie just had one a little bit ago. I'm going to redo my nails in a little bit, make lunch, and then I have got to start packing. Like I said, the majority of the cleaning's done. I just need to go through, make sure everything's tidy up. Basically, there's like four bowls in the sink that I may rent out. I may not. I may just leave it depending how much stuff I can get done. Because this little one is being a little chunky, 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 little monkey, monkey, monkey. first is coffee maker <laughs> with the generator we're gonna have we're gonna be able to use a coffee maker and David just got me the iced coffee tea maker and I like I said I love it I have a curry here so I'm just going to take this out with us just to leave out there that way we'll because we always talk about having coffee out there when we wake up. We're so excited when we move out there to have coffee at the cows. Just, those things aren't always out there half the time. So I figured we'd probably get up early Saturday or Sunday morning and just sit outside and have some coffee. So David actually went to Big Lots and like I said, he got us uh, some bed sheets. 
and we got some pillows coming on the Walmart pickup, but he went ahead and got me and him a little coffee mug, which I thought was cute. He got me a sloth, and then he got a skull and crossbones, I think. Okay, step number two. Don't mind my squishies in my makeup room. I went crazy. I had session for a while and went crazy. But I just found, I used to have a Victoria's Secret's pink makeup bag, and it was really big, and I could put like period stuff and items in it but I don't know where it's at so I'm just going to take this little owl thing for my makeup because I don't have any makeup well I don't have any for my makeup so the first thing I'm going to take is a bunch of q-tips like my highlight my favorite eyeliner I usually don't use this blush I usually use my Tarte blush but my Tarte blush is in this big thing I'm just going to take one of those I'm just going to take this my brush for it, highlighting fan, mascara. Also probably be bringing my perfume. I'm taking my vitamin E oil, stretching out my ears, and I'm up to an eight gauge, I believe. And sometimes when they get itchy, I just put this on. And then I'm also taking chapstick. I got this really big owl blanket to put on the ground or to put on the floor of the camper so Shelby can crawl. I got David's black hoodie that doesn't fit him anymore. I'm just going to wear that in case I get cold around the fire. These comfortable pants that I packed in case it gets cold in the night, which it's going to, so when we're out the around the fire. And then I just packed a pair of black um, jeggings to wear in case I need those. Two pairs of shorts. Oh, at least milk stained them, apparently. Dang it. I just got two fancy outfits and one, two, three black tank tops. They're all different. Packed two pairs of socks. Packed these two t-shirts just in case I don't feel like I'm wearing a tank top to bed. I'm just wearing my kiss and then my Nightmare on Elm Street shirt. And I don't think I'm going to take my face, face wash with me. I'll just use diaper wipes to clean my face with this weekend. But I am taking my hair crimper because like I said, this hairstyle is the easiest to maintain. All I do is crimp the front of it. But sometimes there is parts that I want to touch up. And most definitely if my bangs need a little straighten. And then I am also, I'm almost out. This is the first time I've ever run out of heat protectant because I've been trying to take good care of my hair. I know Tresemme isn't the best, but I didn't know what kind to get. So when I run out of this, I will be getting a better brand. But I'm just taking my heat protectant to use with me. Okay, everything is packed. Everything fit in here, but this is only my stuff. And this is what I'm working with. I just needed to pack everything. It's going to be a really nice weekend. Highs are in the 70s. But in the nighttime, it's going to get down to the 40s, which will have a heater, some pants, um, an outfit, and then just a bunch of different onesies. Because you know babies spit up, they wet through the diapers. And then Eleanor, I got her pajamas, because she will be able to have a blanket, obviously, and she'll be in her own bed. And she doesn't make too much of a mess. The only thing I like was, the only messy thing we're having this weekend is s'mores. And then I got her outfits. I need to find her socks. Most of her socks anyway are in the expedition because she likes to take them off. Some more outfits and a couple pairs of pants. But this is all the diapers I have in my house that I am bringing. And then I have a pack of wipes and then I also have another pack of wipes in my living room that I'm going to take. I forgot to get her the pre-made baby cereal which on the pickup I did get her baby food so you'll notice there's no baby food. So I'm taking her just this. I may even leave this. It's only good till next month anyway because this is leftover from Ellie. So I may end up just leaving that out there. And then we did get plastic everything but I forgot to get baby spoons so I'm just bringing four of my own. But I got Lucas's stuff packed. I'm just taking a bag for each person so I have a bag. Shelby and Ellie are splitting a bag and Lucas and Molly are sharing a bag. Banana. I got two sleepers for him. He loves sleepers so I packed those. Two pairs of shorts, two t-shirts, and one warm outfit. No, I'm two pairs this. of fleece pajamas for Molly. One warm outfit, two pairs of shorts, and two shirts. I hope you guys can see me. I'm, I'm trying. She is so fussy today. Anytime I put her down, she just wants to cry and why and she's eight and she's fine. <laughs> but I think I got everything pit, packed. Um, for some reason, I threw out Molly's extra comforter because she never used it and I had it in her closet and I think when I redid her closet, during one during the winter time, I think I got rid of it because she, she never changed it so I was like, why not? 
But for some reason, I kept Lucas's and I kept an extra sheet for him. They don't match, but he has that for his twin bed. Everything packed, I think. I'm waiting for David to get home. It's almost 4 o'clock, so he'll be home soon. Don't want to come home to a messy house. I got one, I told them they allowed one box of toys between them. Because most likely they're not going to play with them anyway. There's the box of toys. David needed a pot. We have a stove inside our house. And I mean, inside the camper. I took apart the pack and play, vacuumed it out, and cleaned it. There's Lucas's bed set. All my stuff's there. <laughs> David is the only one without a backpack because I didn't have extra rooms. I got his vans, my vans, and my boots. And then he obviously has boots on his feet. The coffee pot is right there. I honestly thought it would be easy just to get up. Have everything packed and clean the house. No, these kids are not working with me today. You are not working with me today. Alright guys, so we are Daddy. loaded up. We got the expedition loaded down. We still have to stop by our Walmart pickup. If we have, I don't see how we're gonna have room because it's loaded down. David is in the store to buy a generator. And but everyone is packed in. And I everything's packed there. Hey! Hey, Matt. Sit down. Pretty good. Like, I can't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how packed full the expedition is. There's Luke. Just made it to the inside the camper. I will film a camper tour. Well, I'll show you guys around in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put the groceries away. And I'll probably film a grocery haul. But this place is packed. We got everything here. All of our stuff over there. And more stuff here. So David messed up and pulled out this thingy. So now he's on top of the expedition. Trying to fix this thing. <laughs> Put the camera help. It's after eight. He finally got it and we got the awning down. All right. It's not good quality at all. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're inside the camper. Dee was getting some stuff ready so we can have some lights. We're sitting down at the table and I'm eating. eating. <laughs> Shelby and Myla are just over there exploring. She's just but crawling we stopped everywhere. at Wendy's and got the kids something to eat. I still haven't put the groceries up, so we're just trying to get everything <laughs> sold in. Down. Ellie. Down. <laughs> sit down. Sit down <laughs> so I will film a grocery haul tomorrow. The kids are all trying to go to sleep. Lucas and Ellie share the bunk, Molly has her own bunk, and Shelby's in the pack and play, and then we have a full queen side bed, and I'll show that tomorrow. But David got a fire going, we have some adult beverages that we're going to be drinking. It is 9.30 almost, so since kids are asleep, we're just going to hang out outside and relax by the, the next day i didn't get to film the grocery haul or anything because david didn't want to mess with the generator because we got here too late but i'm just going to show you guys a quick over look of the camper and then just a look in the pantry and then in the vlog david's out there with the kids enjoying some coffee and we have a radio some storage our bed cabinets we have doors that shut Shelby slept there last night. We have a full couch. It turns into a bed. More cabinet space. The table. It turns into a bed. More cabinet space. And then here's the kitchen. We got this cute little bar stool. It's this cute little wall signs. More counter space and cabinets. A little stove. They did. Whoever had this before us took out the fridge and put a mini fridge in. She'll be playing in the floor. Here are the kids. There's only two bunk beds, but they have plenty of room. Ellie and Lucas shared, and there is plenty of room. I haven't made it up yet. Cabinets for them. A little curtain. And here is the toilet. A bathtub. With the shower. And then over here we have more counter space for our bathroom sink. Mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye